Good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's Untethered Daily with myself, Noah Hammond Terrell. This is the show where I, after meditating, give myself uh, intuitive advice, connect into my intuition, and download some wisdom or some. <laughs> Call coming in here. Um, and then at the end of the live stream, I give myself an action step. And uh, this is a growth tool that I use. Uh, and I share it with all of you because other people get value from the stream. And so, uh, welcome everybody. What's up, Jason? Welcome to the stream, man. Let's see what's coming through today. Uh, what wisdom would most benefit myself and all other beings involved? That's the question that I ask. It's important to remember that the past is a creation of your own mind and awareness. What's up, Rudy? It's important to remember that the past is a creation of your own mind and awareness. The past only actually exists in your mind. And the interesting thing about the past and how it exists in your mind primarily is that it exists in everyone's minds differently. And so the past is actually this ephemeral thing, this uh, non-localized cognition. Yes, it happened as you experienced it. It happened and it was real as you were experiencing it. And actually the moment after it happens, it's no longer real. And this is paradoxical, of course, right? Because how can human beings form a structure or a society that works for everybody if you don't pay attention to the past as if it was real? How can you ever learn from your past mistakes if you don't treat the past as if it was real. And also though, how can you ever be free of your past? How can you ever be free of the fuel that filled the fire of your learnings without recognizing also the same time, the ephemeral nature, the non-real nature of your past? It's both simultaneously. Your past is both very tangible and real. Yes, it happened. And it's unreal in the fact that in this moment, it no longer exists. It's no longer tangible. And in this moment, though human beings have structures and though you have structures within you that stop you from achieving this reality, the truth is that in this moment, you can become and be a new person in really any way that you choose and decide and have the tools to step into, right? The human ego is malleable. Your identification of self is malleable, shapeable, changeable. Your belief systems are changeable. Your ideas or conceptions of self are changeable. Your skill sets are developable. There's all these things that can happen in any given moment to totally step into a new version of you, except for, uh, and the reason, the main reason why it takes long time periods or why it doesn't happen at all is largely due to our identification with the past events as our current self and therefore our future circumstance. And this is all an error in thinking. The past is valuable to the point to which we use it to learn and grow and make new decisions in our present. And beyond that, it's, it's meaningless and, and intangible and ephemeral and non-real. It's simply the life experiences you chose to call into your experience in order to develop the capacities, the natures, the, the ways of thinking and being and doing that are in the most highest good of your soul's expansion and who you're here to be. And so if it was an up, that's great. It's worth celebrating. If it was a down, that's great. It's worth learning from. You learn more from the downs typically than you learn from the ups. All of them are valuable though. And all of them lead you to being who you're here today. And then who you're here to, to be today is a decision today. And that moment to moment decision is happening in every given moment, giving you the power to create your life one moment at a time. And so the encouragement of today's message is to uh, recognize your past as both real and non-real as a learning platform, but not a defining statement. Cool. Action step for today. What meaning 
am I willing to let go of that was generated from uh, a collection of past memories clumped together? So to say it more clearly, if you had to look at a current day meaning that you, and when I say you, I'm talking to myself, if you had to look at a current day meaning that you've made by looking at the movie of your past and collecting several reference experiences to make a certain meaning out of it that is no longer serving you, what would that meaning be? What are those references? How can you forgive, release, heal, and remember through the process of acknowledging the movie you've created? Cool. Heavy stuff. <laughs> uh, well, hopefully that's been helpful for some of you. Uh, thank you for joining me on today's Untethered Daily. And uh, until the next time, sending you tons of love, positivity, good energy. Use it. Make something great in this world. Spread love. And I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.